70 years, 25,567 days, 613,620 hours, 367,920,000 minutes, or 2,207,520,000 seconds. This is the average amount of time that we get on this planet, and the clock is only ticking. There's a saying, there's only one man who will always stay undefeated, and that man is Father Time. Which leads me to the question, how do you actually stop wasting time? Everyone wants to know this, but funny enough, only 20% of people watch this video until the very end, therefore gain the knowledge of how to actually stop wasting time. Ironically, it's the fear of wasting time that will prevent these people from watching the video. Even though this video will easily save them a thousand times the time invested into watching this, and although I'm no financial guru, I would say that's a pretty decent return on investment. In just three steps, you'll save so much time in your life to make room for the events that truly matter, or should I say the people that truly matter. Step one, ask yourself, where do I waste the most time? For 99% of you, it's likely going to be the same thing. That being your phone. Four hours and 39 minutes. This is the average screen time in the United States. For the average person who gets eight hours of sleep, this is 29% of your time awake. If you apply this to your entire life with the same averages, that would be 29% of your entire awake life gone. And the unfortunate truth is that some of you, or maybe most of you, have even more time spent on your phone. This is the first place where I realized I was wasting a lot of time. 33.33% or one third is the average amount of time that someone spends sleeping in their life. Now, I am absolutely not a sleep is for the weak guy. In fact, I think that phrase is incredibly stupid. It does not take a PhD to realize that sleeping is crucial to our health. The average person needs roughly about eight hours of sleep. But I know averages aren't perfect and this number is going to vary from person to person. I personally try to get eight hours of sleep minimum, but I find I'm at my best when I get roughly about nine hours of sleep. I also force myself to reach this minimum of eight hours of sleep because when I don't get it, I'm prone to migraines. And I also know myself well enough to say that I tend to oversleep. And this is a really bad habit of mine, as sometimes I can sleep 10 to 12 hours, which just leaves me feeling groggy late in the afternoon knowing that I wasted two to four hours that I could invest into a project of mine. And this only leaves me feeling worse about myself, which in turn makes me less productive. And this is why oversleeping was the second place that I felt like I was wasting a lot of time. The third place that most people are gonna think of, or perhaps you already thought of it, is work. The average person works 40 hour weeks, eight hours a day, five times a week. This amounts to the average person spending about 30% of their awake time working. Adding commute, working overtime, working from home, or whatever else it may be, and I'm sure this percentage only goes up. Now, obviously, work is crucial not only to our society, but to our well-being, as we have to work to survive. I think working these hard, long hours is very admirable. And yes, that also means the people who work in fast food, retail, or whatever it may be. And this is where I want to say, give yourself a pat on the back. As I know these jobs can often be thankless, but I truly do respect you and thank you. Finally, we have recreation. This is where I think of things you want to have time for. Biking, playing sports, going out with friends, whatever it may be. These are the moments we live for, but yet we spend under half of our awake time doing these things. What we live for takes up less than 40% of our actual awake time. And that number only goes down if you add in other bad habits that you have that waste time. For example, you have things like literally thinking as a lot of people have anxiety now and they spend more time thinking than actually doing. Also, of course, there's other forms of instant gratification like drugs. And I would also say gaming with a bit of a caveat as I don't think all gaming is bad and there is a healthy amount of gaming. And there's also watching TV or basically just any other type of mindless consumption. And I say these things because some of us do these things even though we have other things to do. And the crazy thing about it is sometimes we do these things even though we don't want to. We're just doing it to literally waste time. As sometimes we just want to get through the day and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but I think it's best to try and limit days like that. All of these things are crucial to acknowledge so that we can do step number two, remove time wasters from your life. And unfortunately, no, I don't mean quit your job. The easiest thing you can do is start by deleting all the apps that you waste time on. That means Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, and yes, even YouTube, or whatever else it may be that tickles your fancy. You have to delete these apps if you want to regain your time. And the best thing you can do is just get rid of them. 
as the saying is, out of sight, out of mind. Now there are some other strategies you can use like getting a simplistic phone or using time limiters on the app. But I think it's best just to get rid of the temptation as some of these time limiters offer you more time if you want. Unless you use these apps for something productive like maybe running a business, I really just feel like it's best not to have them. And I know one of the arguments is going to be what about socializing through these apps. But I always say you could just use a messaging app as I feel like it's more personal than sending a thousand memes to your friend a day. Truthfully, it's easier said than done as you're probably going to have FOMO which is the fear of missing out. But you're going to get over it eventually, it just takes time. And the thing is, it'll be worth it because you're going to be gaining 29% of your awake time back, which in itself is already huge. Now, 29% is amazing, but I think we can do more. I'm also going to suggest fixing your sleep schedule. And I don't just mean putting a stop to the oversleeping. We may as well go all the way and implement a consistent sleep schedule, as this will make it a lot easier to fall asleep, meaning we'll spend less time trying to snooze and more time snoozing. Now, depending on what your sleep schedule looks like, you may actually be losing time as you're going to be reinvesting it into sleeping. Now, sleep is directly linked to your overall health and happiness, so I would say that's a good investment. For me, I'm going to be gaining two to four hours on any given day now that I'm not oversleeping. Next, since I can't get rid of work, I want to look at possible ways to get our time back, which means we have to get a little bit creative and even a bit abstract. My first idea would be to optimize your commute as best as you can. I would also suggest reinvesting some of the time you gained into things like a side hustle that could possibly make you money, hopefully allowing you to scale back your hours a bit. Realistically, work isn't the most adaptable as we have to do it. And not all of us will be able to get a new job and be successful doing a side hustle. But what I can say is give it a try because you never know how it'll go and I wish you luck. Lastly, we want to remove any extra time wasters. Like I said, these are probably some of the other activities that you do that are really just time wasters. Possibly drugs, gaming again, with the caveat, watching TV, whatever it may be. If it isn't positively affecting your life and you don't feel good about it, you should consider just removing it from your life completely and re-implementing something that you can feel good about, which just so happens to be step three. Implement productive time use that you can feel good about. So far, you've become aware of your time-wasting habits and now we've removed them from our lives and you've removed these things from your life, regaining time. But having time is only good if you know how to use it properly. Otherwise, you'll become bored and lack purpose. You need to start implementing activities into your life that will fulfill you. Mentally, physically, emotionally, all of it. It needs to leave you feeling fulfilled, which in turn will make you happy. Build a business, start reading books, meditate, go for walks, play sports and play video games with a purpose. Do the things that make you feel at peace. There truly are an unlimited amount of things that you can fill your time with. And while infinity is intimidating, it means you will also never have nothing to do. There are literally millions of books to read, things to learn, things to discover. Endless fun and curiosity is there. And the only one holding you back is yourself. Exit your comfort zone and do what you have to do. Spend time with your friends and family, make new friends, build a family. It's time to start living life proudly, no longer fearing that you're wasting time. I hope that this video can help you on your journey of not only not wasting time, but to also spend your time in a more fulfilling way. If you like this video, I think you'll love my last video on how to actually feel like a kid again, or my next video I'm working on, which is how to actually live in the moment. 